Hello, Josh Sam, and anyone else who's watching to Swin, don't you forget about me. Uh, it's the new season. As you know, we lost last time 3-2 uh, to Hull. Now we have to play Arsenal twice in one video because I'm a glutton for punishment. Now, uh, we did score twice in the last game. Uh, two goals from players who wouldn't usually be expected to be on the score sheet. Uh, what's happened here? Why have we not got a defensive midfielder? Oh, right. Okay, so uh, Mauricio Arias has gone on uh, loan away to Braga uh, and has immediately got injured, so well done him. Uh, but it's fine. It gives us a little bit less uh, in terms of trying to work out who's going to play where and what have you. So it's fine. Uh, Jepsen can join on the bench there. We are going to play with Fall on the bench as well. Rodriguez... Tobic didn't play well in the last game, but we're just going to play like this. Uh, to Cham, he's still a little bit injured. Uh, and, yeah, I think this looks good. I mean, who knows? Because our team always seem to just sort of F everything in the A. So we'll just see how things go. I know that we won a couple of things last season, but who knows how things are going to go this season. It doesn't seem to be going greatly well. They've still got Gavin Blackler, the bastard, uh, who left us for Arsenal for 16 and a half million he had his uh, he was the record signing uh, or re record sort of sale <coughs> for Swindon until we lost Perez this summer now this is the league game uh, we have a league and a uh, Europa not Europa League what's it called European Super League game uh, next against them no not Super League Super Cup or something anyway we're already 1-0 down oh god I don't know why I recorded this video <laughs> I don't I just hate Swindon. Never seem to. We never seem to improve. We always seem to get to the same level of slightly. I mean, I wouldn't say above average. You know, in that sort of top. Oh, top pitch. Top pitch scores. Okay, so we can not. Not don't have to immediately get upset. Manunga actually scored there. I thought that was really top pitches. Goal. But still, I. It just feels like we are so so far behind uh, teams like Arsenal and uh, and Cardiff uh, that it just makes it hard to 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 want to keep grinding away. I really want to win the Premier League with Swindon. It seems like we've got to the point now where it would be pointless to to have come this far and not at least win the Premier League. Uh, uh, but it, it's just such a tough league to win. I'm annoyed by it. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do it. Just, it just means that I'm just going to have to keep moaning about it. Who knows how long the Sodding series is going to go on for. Usually they last about 50 episodes. We're already on episode 53. We haven't even come close to winning the Premier League yet. Uh, just Jeff. Oh, surely that's a penalty. It is. Screeve Manunga is having an absolutely shocking uh, start to this game. Uh, Gillich is going to take the penalty. He's our designated penalty taker. Can we go 2-1 up here? Gillich slots it home. Swindon a 2-1 up at Omri Stadium. Lovely stuff. I don't imagine it will last, but at least we are back up in the top 10. <laughs> uh, anyway, I need to sniff. Excuse me. Oh, it's just a horrible life to be living at the moment. Uh, Jimenez. Oh, they managed to just about hit the crossbar under the bottom of it. Caffrey as well making a foul. Maybe this will be the season where they actually struggle a little bit. What, we're, what I'm hoping for, um, when I was sort of moaning before about winning the league... Um, which obviously preceded us turning around and, and, and leading 2-1. But the point being, uh, could it be three? No. Uh, the point that I was uh, going to move on to is that when I first won the league with Western Super Mare, it was a bit of a... It was a bit like the way uh, Leicester City won the Premier League in real life. Uh, all the other good teams just sort of did badly and we didn't do so sensationally well that you know everyone was like, well, these guys are great. We just about got over the line, and we stole we stole the Premier League from the established teams. Now, and then later on, we then became we were then able to build on that and become a more established top club. But it was the the natural way of things uh, that we had to sort of nick our first league. Now, I'm hoping that that would happen <coughs> for us as Swindon as well, because I feel that's the easiest way to to win your first title, especially when. I, uh, we can't even break into the top four at the moment. So, you know, it, it, it's a tough league at the moment. Uh, it's very strong. Um, but if Arsenal... I mean, it's obviously only two games they haven't yet won. Uh, it, it, if Arsenal can be knocked off their perch... Basically, Arsenal are the team that really need to have a poor season. 
Uh, obviously, then you would need Man United also to have a poor season. Uh, and I think both Chelsea and Sitter uh, finish above us consistently. So we really need all four of those teams to, to sort of fall away. Uh, Contreras scoring there against us, annoyingly. So, surprise sniff. Apologies. Um, it's a good good first half here at Henri Stadium. It's a bit fun. Uh, yeah, and 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 we need to now st- we need to start picking up. I don't want to start. I want to say it now because they 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 they're back on top again. We need to start picking. <laughs> we need to start picking up um, some more consistent wins over the bigger sides. Like most seasons, we beat Spurs at least once. Uh, most seasons, we beat a United or Arsenal, but only one of the other one of the two. Uh, and uh, we can usually sneak a win against um, City, Chelsea. We were always bad against, and the problem is it, it, that's not enough. There, there, that's what I mean. We do. We also drop points against stupid teams like losing three two to Cardiff on the final day of the season last season, or the three one even. Um, so yeah, we we have our problems against the weaker teams occasionally. Oh lord, oh, fuck me, man! Come on. Serapio, okay, right. What are we going to do here? Uh, Javier's not playing well, so we'll just put on Laveau. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. Give Yepsen a game. Maybe he can uh, Maybe he can do something for us. Who knows? Uh, yeah, and, and, and the th- we just basically consistently lose the games that we need to win to win the league. We, we don't do enough. And, yeah. We, we, we basically need to hope that all the other big teams lose against each other and we can occasionally nick some points off of them. Like here could Gillich no. So this doesn't bode well for the cup game we have against them next. But that said, uh, we actually we actually have a pretty good result. Uh, sorry, pretty good result. We have a pretty good record against Arsenal in cup competitions. It's 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 only uh, the league where we consistently get battered by them. <laughs> we did beat them last game, and that was three two as well. Uh, but again, that was not, that was also a little bit of a, a fluke. Oh, just Jeff could finish it off. Doesn't great save from Jongo. Uh, Manunga. You wouldn't have backed him to make that tackle cleanly, considering his poor first half. But we're still in this. They're not. Have we come back into it a little bit? No, not really. We've had two more chances. Uh, Topic again has been hit. Uh, take him off for four. Maybe that'll do the job that we need. I don't know why it would be that with Perez out, we're, we're worse, because actually Perez wasn't that, that good. Um, I actually think Serapio is better, but then it, yeah, the game has its own opinion of everything. The the thing is, we get dominated so much. This is like Sam's teams versus Sam's team being Arsenal versus the really bad teams in their league, where he gets like one or two chances. We're real, real poor here. Um, I'd really not like to lose two games a row in a row at the beginning of the season like last season. Oh, come on! Even though this is a these are a good team and we are away from home, this is still annoying. Just Jeff, come on, go around the man. Jimenez, foul again. Could that be a yellow? It is. Patricia Jimenez. Masha's coming in the room. What's she saying? She's waving. Say hello. 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 Martins. Diogo says she's coming to get a lem sip. Oh, poor Masha. Masha feels terribly. Masha feels badly. Oh. Well, nothing happened, and my barbershop appointment has been rescheduled to Friday at 5. To Friday at 5. Martins has been injured. Fall is now dropped back to play a centre-back for some reason. <laughs> I mean, we've got literally a centre-back playing in the field. He could do that, but fine. Hoynik. Uh, Mananga Contreras. Nabil. Okay, so we've managed to clear it. No, Makacek doesn't get there. Arvaladze. 
And Kia Martins rejoins the fray. Maybe we, oh no, okay, we didn't get, that was one minute we got for his injury. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, we were in the lead for a bit. Yeah, they were they were pretty good, to be fair. You can't argue with that. They were okay. Uh, they did build, uh, come into the game a little bit more in the second half, but rubbish. And then Arsenal continue their ridiculous, never-ending march to the title. Uh, they've got a new manager. That's why I was wondering that they might be able to be a bit bad this season. Um, but no, apparently not. <laughs> uh, yeah, they worked hard. Um... Yeah, there's definitely some interest in Marco Antonio. No, there's not. Bye. <coughs> okay. Again, satisfied is not really the word I would use. I would say I, I literally have to take that result, so I will, but I'm not greatly chuffed by it. <sighs> Nuremberg beating Leipzig there. Doncaster beating St. Albans. Big result. Premier League, Ipswich are back and they are doing much better than they were last time. I don't know if you remember, but Ipswich came up and finished almost rock bottom. Uh, they had an absolutely dreadful season. See, look, Man United, Chelsea and Arsenal, it's just always, always the same teams winning. And of course, Ipswich, they're um, doing what everyone expected of them. Mark McNamee, the uh, English centre-back slash midfielder, he's a poor player. He's had a very average career. But he's having a sensational run in the Premier League so far. I imagine by the end of the season that will drop down to a seven point. Oh, sorry, so like a six point seven. <laughs> he's not that good. He's never going to keep that up for the whole season. <coughs> so now we have just a small matter of the uh, European Super Cup, uh, which surely is the biggest competition, right? Because you win the Champions League and then you qualify for the Super Cup. So that must be the uh, hardest competition to win in the world, right? But I, that's what I heard. Uh, it's in Gamla Ulevi. Uh, not sure where that is. I would imagine somewhere not in Swindon. Even though we're technically designated as the home team. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm in a bad mood now. It's annoyed me. These two games have annoyed me. <sighs> How long I can play this without uh, getting frustrated. Did this happen last season, though? About sort of... Uh, a third of the way through last season, I was in a bad mood with the same thing, and then we went on to win the Europa League. So it happens. It happens. Man City, of course, getting wins there. At least Spurs, Liverpool, and uh, Western are dropping off. Otherwise, it would be a basically un uh, unassailable top sort of nine teams. Uh, uh, come on in. Come on in, I want to play Arsenal. I want to go away to this strange other place and play Arsenal. Hopefully they don't really take it very seriously and we can at least win a bit of silverware. It'd be nice. It's nice to win silverware. It's always nice to win cups, especially when you only ever really get the chance to play in them once. Like uh, That's why I was disappointed to lose the Europa League final the first time because I was worried that we wouldn't ever get there again. Uh, but of course, we can't ever get higher than the Europa League anymore. So it's just nice to be allowed to take part again. Padilla's back from another injury. To Coney. No. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, it's nearly my birthday in 2051. I will be 60 years old. Come on. Forest Green haven't played away from home yet. That's not fair. Uh, Hull, they did, they won at the county ground. That W is a win at our stadium. So we've already got two losses this season. Arsenal last season won the league with, with with two. So if we win all the rest of our games, or we just go undefeated for the rest of the season, it's highly likely that we'll win the league. Now, there's a problem with that, which is that we're not going to do that. <laughs> I expect. <laughs> oh, I'm annoyed. It's frustrating, it's frustrating. I like winning stuff, I like winning stuff. And I don't like it to be so hard as this. Oh, Monday 28th of August 2051 is a long day. Come on, game. What is going on? It's slowed down even more than it did before. Oh, that's because Asep Kamara was completing his loan move to Bari. Um, August 29th. And now we're there again. Uh, Chelsea are again bidding for one of our players. No. 
No. Right. Uh, nope. Oh, fuck it, I'm just not even going to see any of these. I'll just scout the guys that they say we should scout. That guy's called Porno. A Pomo. <laughs> oh, chuckle, chuckle vision. Yeah, well, I, 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 I tried to, but uh, the problem is they won't sell him for any reasonable amount of money. There was a, there was a, there was a, uh, there was a young player, I think he was playing for Boca. Uh, he was called something like Ricardo Luge. Uh, I imagine we'll, we'll, we'll face up to him at one point in the future when we get to the Champions League. And uh, he was an absolutely sensational left winger. He's 20 years old, I think. And he's worth about £1.2 million. And uh, so I put in a bid for... I, like, I, uh, I talked about him in the press. I said I was interested in him. I said I admired him. He said, oh, you just have to make a bid then. My uh, scout report said he'd be happy to join, but didn't put in an amount of money that they thought I would be able to sign him for, which is always a worry. Uh, Slavsk have confirmed 65,000 against Sarajevo in the Champions League Champions Playoff is a new record high lovely stuff um, <clears throat> what was I going to say uh, yes what was I saying about that yeah, fella yeah so I put in a bid of 6 million pounds I thought well 1, 1 million to 6 million that's a decent little uh, chunk of change but no so they went to 10 million they said no then it said Barcelona was no no so that, that, that it was after the 6 million pound bid then Barcelona became interested and declared their interest I thought alright I need to be serious now I'll put a bid of 10 million in and I put in a bid of 10 million and two days later Barcelona put in a bid of 22 and a half million <laughs> so well I'm not signing him and as it as it happened yes uh, about uh, a week later he became a Barcelona player <sighs> How am I? It, this is, feels like the um, who was the fellow who joined Tottenham instead of us on a free when I was Western manager? They had him for they had him for years. He was a Scottish striker. Oh man, that really annoyed me as well. All these sliding door moments. Uh, well, uh, well, ah uh, well, uh, well, what you doing? Anyway, now it's oh Montufar has requested a transfer again, even though he's already both requested and then requested to be taken off the transfer list. Are you looking forward? No. <laughs> uh, it's a nice event to have something different. I'm not exceptionally keen on it. No, I am. No, I'm very excited. Uh, da, 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 da. Here's a win of exceptional importance. Yeah, there we go. Something that adds. I mean, we literally lost to them six days ago. Look, I'll let you go, but then they have to. You have it. He hasn't rocked with it. I've already offered him out a hundred about a hundred times. Give me. Fifteen and a half million pounds for him, and I will sell him. I have no problem with it. But they keep coming in with twelve million pound bids, and if they do that, I'm not going to sell you. And I said that to you last time. You said, "Okay, boss, actually, can I stay?" That was only about three weeks ago. You mug. Oh, I'm in a bad mood now. A lot of muted sniffing and phone calls in this episode. Oh, maybe that's why I'm annoyed. I've got a short temper because I'm not feeling very well. And also, I've just watched Sam's hour-long video where he completes his uh, unprecedented sex tuple for Liverpool, <laughs> which is so frustrating. His team is so much, so good, so damned good. Right. Yeah, well, we've already registered our team, so I don't know why we'd need to do that again. No, 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 no. Confirm selection. Okay. Right. Okay, what's happening here? Uh, this is the th fourth qualifying round. I think I have to play in this round. I'm not sure. Or if we do, it's... Well, no, we can't be doing. Is there another round after this? Is it called the... Is there a four, Is there a fifth qualifying round? I don't think there is. Oh, okay. Uh, so I had to register a squad for that, that stage, even though we've already qualified for the group stages. <laughs> okay, that confused me. But fine, fair enough. There we go. So... What's happening here? Uh, shockingly, I did not win the manager of the month. <clears throat> but we do have the Arsenal have scored in 36 games in a row. That's fun. We scored in three games in a row. We're a big boy team. Uh, come on, Mr. Arsenal. Come on, Mr. Computer. Nello Batoni. Uh, Stashinsky. Stavinsky is set to play against his former club. I don't care. Uh, so here we go. Here's the Europa League draw. Let's see what this is. Draw, 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 draw. Let's just draw all teams. Draw, draw. Oh my God, Forest Greener in there as well. 
good. So it's us and Forest Green representing England. We we are top seeds, I suppose, because we won it last year. Uh, in a group with Schalke, Slovan, Bratislava and Cluj. That should be an eminently winnable group, winnable group. Is there another English team in here anywhere? No, it's just... Is it just us, really? Forest Green, yeah, it looks like it is. Well, there we go. Um, nice, nice, continue. Nice, nice baby. I'd be disappointed in us not winning the uh, game against Hull. Uh, not so surprised that we didn't win against Arsenal in the last game. Here's hoping they play a weakened team against us in this game, because that's usually what they do. Uh, Swindon looked to defend our title. Um, yeah, England represented us and uh, we, uh, great loads of our games have been rearranged what quite why we're playing quite so many of those uh, Europa League game, uh, our normal league games on a Thursday I don't know anyway <laughs> Laveau is still suspended from last season so I think it was even the semi-final that he got sent off uh, right so how are we going to do this Wilmot and Just Jeff didn't do well up front last time we nor did Topic. Topic is not going to play we're going to play Fall uh, Gilich van Rethi Makacek is fine although should we maybe play like I would like to play uh, what are we going to do I don't know Padilla on instead of Jepsen though that's definitely a thing in fact even maybe he can start let's see what we can do with this a Serapio Martins centre back pairing it's going to have to do we don't we have Jair there uh, Martins is doing well let's do that also, I want to keep Martin Sweet. He's a good player, and I don't want to lose him. Okay, so they are not. They are playing their good team, bugger. So there's not really much of a chance here. They've got very poor uh, morale, though, which is weird. Assertive, go out there and impress me. Where on earth is Gamla Ulievi? Right, I don't care. I mean, I look. We maybe we win this, and that makes me cheerful. But this is this is upsetting me. Right. <clears throat> two changes for Swindon uh, from the last game where we lost 3-2 see if that can help us to victory here in the unknown town in Europe also interesting to note that we are the designated home team playing in our away kit and they are the designated away team oh just Jeff oh you fucking how I suppose it came to him late but but that was rubbish okay uh, eight minutes gone. We've had the early running here. Martin's heads over. Okay. <coughs> Stupid human body. Weak. Oh, oh, just Jeff pouncing on Jimenez at the back. Just Jeff, can he slot home? He gives it to Padilla, who does slot home. And we have gone 1-0 up. Interesting. Interesting. Good. Well, Padilla puts us 1-0 up. They don't play with wingers. So they should, in theory, be weak to our wing our wing heavy play uh, it doesn't really seem like it works that way they somehow have loads of width despite playing a specifically widthless formation um, Javier oh interesting play from Javier be interesting to know how they how what their instructions are surely the like either they play heavily with their oh Southwell great save from the keeper either their wing backs get up and down a lot or their midfielders push out that way. In the old football manager style, where you used to have arrows that point in the direction you want the players to move. Uh, Makacek out to Padilla. Padilla to Gilic. Gilic, big ball through. Padilla, could he get on the end of it? But Timonen's there. Uh, Diogo, big ball up. Martins. Oh, we just, ooh, Martins fouls. Van Rethi goes in as well. <laughs> Neither of them get booked for it, though. That's fine. Uh, 25 minutes gone, 1-0. They've not really had any chance, uh, many chances in this game. Maybe the trip from London is slightly worse than the trip from, I assume, Bristol Airport. Oh, interesting bit of uh, pinball there, headed back by Fall, but he was offside. Probably just hit him on the bum bum. All right, now free kick to Fall. Makacek doesn't get there, but just Jeff on the edge of the box wins it, and then fouls, he's going to get booked. Yellow card for just Jeff. Well, nice of him to get involved. He did get the assist as well. Let's not be harsh. Uh, Serapio now to Van Rethi to Javier to Gilich to Fall to Just Jeff. Just Jeff? No. Padilla, what's he going to do with it? Gives it to Gilich. Gilich, Van Rethi. Out to Javier. Goes around his man, does he? 
No, tries to cross, and we win a throw-in off Manunga, who had a bad game against us last time. Just Jeff. Big ball in. Padilla has scored again. Padilla, when he's fit, he is a machine. He's a wrecking machine. Uh, although fans of the series will remember that he ended the season last season very poorly, uh, scuffing every shot he had. But whatever. Just Jeff to Padilla is a strong, uh, is a strong pairing up front when it works. For Toot. Just Jeff does not win anything in the air. Why do we keep kicking it to him? I have no idea. Uh, Kalivas, I'm not sure he was playing in the last game, actually, although I might be completely wrong. Uh, Contreras hits the, bar, uh, hits the ball over the bar. Contreras definitely was playing in the last game. So was Southwell. Uh, we deservedly lead at the break, uh, questioning in my mind why we deservedly got absolutely pumped in the league game. Uh, and I don't mean that by result. I mean, results-wise, we narrowly ed you know, we narrowly lost but you know we did get pumped in terms of statistics right Musa Fall with a corner Serapio hits the crossbar uh, Contreras breaks but Manuel he clears and covers the ball lovely very nice Gillich now up to just Jeff just Jeff he gives it to Badir again Makacek out back to Van Rethy they put a lot of men behind the ball Manuel Van Rethy uh, ball up to Manuel again Blackler comes in but he loses out Makacek puts the ball across Manunga clears just Jeff was waiting mm -hmm. now I don't want to jinx things but we are doing much better this time around I don't, maybe we just don't like the Henri Stadium I can't remember if we've ever actually won there before I know the win that we had against them last season was at our ground Anyway, Van Rethy to Makacek. Makacek, what's he going to do with it? He's going to go around. Makacek, oh, he got set up. He got teed up by Gillich, but he hit the ball well wide. He's only a young boy. He's only 19, I think, so a bit of fun. Doesn't matter. Uh, Hoynik to Blackler. Blackler's a quality player. Since we lost him, we have really struggled to find someone to replace him. Van Rethy does his best, but he's not in that same class of player as Gavin Blackler. Uh, Makacek to Van Rethy. Um, let's move... You trying to use our width, but we don't have it. It seems like, certainly defensively, it seems like those two defensive midfielders push out wide. Uh, Makacek now. Oh, if he only just ran onto that instead of waltzing about, Oli Timonen fouls us. We have a free kick in a decent area. Um, oh fuck! I'm f Masha just snuck up behind me and scared the shit out of me. What do you want? Yes, sir. You scared the hell out of me. <laughs> what can I do for you? Yeah? Uh, he was painting the fence when I saw him yesterday, yes. But why you confuse head scene? Because first you ha you saw him and then or it's in the same time. Because it's in the same He was time, right? because you saw him at the same time as he was yeah, painting yeah. the fence. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Okay, that was a I don't what was that for? Oh, right. Okay, so that's helping a friend's English lesson. Uh, oh, now I need to sniff. Oh, man, that scared the, <laughs> scared the hell out of me. It's just appeared in my eye line, just sort of, sort of like shyly going, mm, hello? Oh, scary, scary, scary stuff. I didn't like the door shut just so that I don't disturb her, but she could have knocked on the door or something to let me know. <laughs> just sort of edging like a creepy Belarusian ghost. <laughs> it's terrifying. Right. Fall has played well. We're going to bring Topic on. Uh, everyone else is doing pretty well. We're going to replace uh, Padilla with Wilmot because Padilla has, of course, just come back from injury. Um, a Bodgy goes off for Apaya. I think Apaya is actually more like a starter for them. Is that a Bodgy going off? Yeah. They've currently got 12 men on the pitch. It's not fair. There he goes. Right, maybe we can grab a third here and put this game to bed. I'd like to win the Europa League, European Super Cup. I was trying to because I'm getting so frustrated with being able to even even <laughs> bloody name the competition we're in. Um, it's just, we're always in the Europa League. We're never in the Champions League. But because of the way it, uh, because of the way it names them it, anyway, I, I tried to find if there's a sort of thing I can download which will change the in-game names of them. Which I've because I did that for the German leagues, for example. I changed them so that the proper German club names are in the database. I'm sure there is one, but I couldn't be bothered to go looking for it. Alexander Unger is the manager. Oh, they're playing Haroldo. The, uh, the f oh, what a finish that is. Bloody hell. <laughs> Crikey, Moses. That reminds me a little bit of uh, a Riedel strike. It was almost identical against Man United one time. What a finish that is. Why don't you do that more often? God, you've never done that before. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. Um, 
no memory at all of what I was talking about. And now he's injured, of course. And oh, Manuel clears off the line. Just Jeff. Uh, we also had an effort off the line whilst Masha was in the room chatting. I do remember that now. Oh, go on, Makicic, you could have run with it. Uh, go on, go on, son. Go on, son. No, taken out twice by Timo then. Uh, Vladze, he actually is uh, Georgian. Sam was talking about someone who had a similar name, similar sounding ending name. Uh, we do have another substitute to make, don't we? Yes, we do. Let's maybe make it who's tired. Gillich is looking tired. Maybe we'll bring on Torsten Barron. He probably deserves to win the uh, Super Cup for us. Uh, I don't know. He won the Europa League, I think, with Chelsea, but never won the Super Cup. So this will be the big... Oh, Just Jeff absolutely skins Manunga. Just Jeff scores an absolutely sensational four. I mean, we just lost 3-2 to them and then we beat them 4-0. I'm still annoyed, by the way. I'm still annoyed at the general malaise of the team in the league, as always seems to happen in August. But what a... There's <clears throat> a second season in a row where we've beaten Arsenal in an essentially meaningless... Um, tournament early on because uh, we beat them in the, the charity shield last season Serapio clears just Jeff could we make it five Topic with a big ball through oh you just had to give it long just Jeff Jimenez tackles him Wilmot's got it though what's he going to do with nothing tackled <laughs> Southwell is going to get there one no Faust, uh, Fertut does a great save uh, Jimenez at the back post heads wide. Okay, so we've won the Europa, European Super League. Europe Super, Super Cup? Super Cup, is it? I don't know. Van Rethy now. Out to Makacek. Makacek, can he cross it? He does. Diogo saves. Contreras is starting to run away with the ball now. Trying to break Avaladzi again. But Manuel, he's always there. He's a quality left back. <coughs> Timonen now. Timonen gives it up. Manuel just absolutely wallops that clear. Well, I mean, we've won every single competition we've been involved in that's not a league since we've uh, since I've been manager. Uh, yeah. uh, the only league I've ever won was League One. No, League Two. Did we win League Two? Yeah, we must have won League Two. Torsten Barron out to Topic. Can we get a fifth? Topic. Good save from Diogo. Great bit of football there from uh, from uh, Barron. Oh, we've won it. Truly exceptional. There we go. The travelling Swindon fans, the faithful. Never expected us to win 4-0 against them. I mean, they played, they played basically the same team. Not quite exactly the same team, but basically. Uh, top scorers in this, uh, Padilla got two. Just Jeff and Serapio with his absolutely sensational long-range drive. Gamla Ulevi. That must be in uh, Turkey, right? Uh, it's in uh, Gothenburg in Sweden. Well, there we go. Uh, Western Sea of Mayor won this competition back in 2031. Was that me? Oh no, we won it three times in a row then. That was probably me. Uh, anything else? Anything else interesting? Not really. Who's been the previous winners of this? Oh, uh, Leicester won it. Kind of devalues it for us, I suppose. Uh, but otherwise, it's been mostly the same big teams. Inter have won it a couple of times. Porto, Valencia, Swindon. <laughs> well... Sorry, that really should have been stifled. Wheatland is the name on Swindon's lips. Uh, strange. Um, we won the Euro European Super Cup. We lift the Super Cup trophy. Is that what it's actually called? Yeah, UEFA, UEFA Super Cup. Right. Serapio on form. Fans jubilant. Am I yet a legend? I am a legend. I am the biggest legend. I am the biggest legend at the club. Yes, please. Oh, that means if we get a new stadium, it could be the Ben Wheatland Arena again. Come on. Come on. I'm, now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Uh, Alberto Beckham. Oh, what, how's he going back again? Oh, striker at West Ham. Uh, doing badly. <laughs> wow, doing really badly last season. Unlucky, mate. Uh, he's a wonder kid at one point. Mitchell Lockley, he's unattached. That's sad. It's mostly coughs. Uh, yeah, oh, poor old Mitchell Lockley. He had such a promising little period for Swindon there. Uh, but it's really gone downhill a little bit uh, of recent. Uh, Paolo Perez, he's on the list. He's just left as well. It's a shame. A missful. Lloyd Wilmot, rightly in the uh, list of icons. Uh, I'd hope that probably Alberto and Fall might end up in there. But who knows? And Ben Wheatland, of course, up as a legend of the club. Now, let's look at the... 
fixtures and see what we're going to record. So we lost 3-2 uh, in consecutive games, which is frustrating. But then we beat Arsenal 4-0, which is fun. Uh, oh man, we've not got a bloody easy start if we've got to play Man City next. Right. I'll come back for the last Europa League game. Because I want to crack on through this. Uh, I'll be back for this Swansea and Slovan Bratislava. Uh, probably that will be a win. I don't know about that one. And we'll see how we do in Europe. Uh, and then we will go from there. So that's oh, that's a nice chunk of the season that we that I'll get to sort of play through. We'll see how things are going in the league. And I'll, and I'll update you when I see you next. See you later, guys. Bye.